Hallo Leute, herzlich willkommen zum nächsten Part von Sword in Dead. Do you wanna talk? Die ersten Staffel der fünften Episode sind mittendrin. That's two on it now. The motherfucker who's got Clementine has been and Kenny dance for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee. This is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Fuck! Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. No, they don't. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's hotel is round the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Ah! Shit! Uh! Oh, fuck! Uh! Easy crossing. You're... Shit! Are you okay? Fine. But I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train! Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there! Get 
Jetzt kommt der spaßige Teil. Oh ja. Das wird lustig dadurch jetzt. Das wird verdammt lustig. Oh, noch was. viel näher dran, die ich nicht anklicken kann. das Haus der Familie Marsch. machen. Got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down.
Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I don't care. Fuck you. You have no idea. <sighs> have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us! We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in. Our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. 
she wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, mm. and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but. Und da machen wir einen Cut. Wir sehen uns beim wahrscheinlich letzten Part wieder. Weil ich nicht will, dass der Part jetzt über 30 Minuten geht. Ein bisschen passiert noch. Ähm, haut rein, bis zum nächsten und wahrscheinlich letzten Part. Da wird dann das Finale kommen. Haut rein, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.